Naruto, God Level System Author, Blue Water God. Chapter 216 Assault on the Roots The Dark and Damp Underground This is the underground base of the Root Organization. The security here is very strict, and there are not many people hiding in the dark. At this time, the Root Organization sneaked into a person, dressed in a black suit, with an owl mask on his face, and carefully shuttled through the underground base of the Root Organization. Damn, where is Danzo? The man in black punched the wall angrily, making a dull sound. Although it is only a slight sound, it is easy to detect in the closed environment of the underground. Who? Someone broke in. Hurry up and report to Danzo Sama. The members of the root organization hidden in the dark appeared from the shadows and went to the place where the sound was emitted. No, I was discovered. The man in black was shocked, and quickly pulled away from here. However, there are ninjas from the Amanaka clan at the root, and they have used the secret technique, the mind transmission technique, to convey the information that someone has broken into the root base. So what the man in black is facing is the siege and interception of the entire route, and it is still the old nest at the route. After a while, the man in black was surrounded by more than a dozen route ninjas. Take him down and hand it over to Danzo's armor. A route ninja who seemed to be the leader gave an order, and a dozen route ninjas rushed to the man in black together. Humphrey, the man in black snorted coldly, holding the kunai across the necks of the three ninjas in an instant, and the three ninjas at their roots fell while clutching their necks. Be careful. The opponent's strength is very strong and it is initially estimated that the lowest elite Junin, the head of the Junin shouted, looking at the man in black with a vigilant expression, since you are courting death, then I will fulfill you lackeys, the man in black said in a low voice, water escape water dragon ball technique, with a seal of the man in black, a huge stream of water emerged, and then turned into a water dragon to bite at the enemy, looking at the huge water dragon, while the leader of the root was horrified, he hurriedly used the earth flow wall to resist the water dragon, the other root ninjas, before they could react, were already crushed by the powerful water dragon, and then the water dragon bombarded the rising earth wall with indomitable power. Although earth done restrains water done, but that is only under the same strength, the current strength is not equal, the strength of the man in black is obviously stronger, and much stronger. The earth wall was shattered with a single blow, and the unabated water dragon slammed into the body of the root, and the powerful impact brought the root to the specially made wall, and the last died on the spot. The man in black didn't hesitate and left immediately, although he was confident in his own strength. He didn't want to be surrounded by ninjas at the root, otherwise, it would be difficult to escape with his strength. After going around and killing dozens of ninjas at the root, the man in black finally ran out of the underground base at the root. Coming out of the underground base at the root, the man in black stared at the root ninja around, and Danzo with his right eye and right arm wrapped in bandages in the distance. The face under the mask was a bit ugly. The little mouse that broke into the root tissue has finally come out. The old man has been waiting for you for a long time, and Zhang said with narrowed eyes. Tell me, who are you and who sent you to the root organization? Say it and I can give you a good time. To Dunhuang Quinmarsh. The land with a radius of 100 meters suddenly turned into a swamp. Danzo looked at the swamp under his feet, broke free easily, and then released Feng Dun Vacuum Jade to prevent the man in black from taking the opportunity to escape. Use these little tricks in front of me, you are still a little tender, and Zhang said with a sneer. Does the death of the thousand hands have anything to do with you? The man in black asked in a low voice. Are you related to the Kainzu family? You are the Kainzu Nawaki. Danzo was slightly surprised, and then affirmed. There are not many people who know that Sheng Shu is not dead, and Anzang is one of them. Because he sent someone to kill Sheng Shu, so he naturally knows that Sheng Shu is not dead, but Anzang did not make a statement. Danzo believes that even if the Nawaki is still alive, it will not pose any threat to him. Nawaki took off his mask, his eyes were red, his eyes full of anger stared at Danzo, and he gritted his teeth and said, it really is you. The death of the thousand hands is really related to you. HMPH. Attacking the senior leaders of Konoa is an unforgivable crime. Take him down for me. To Anzang said with a cold snort. The route ninja heard Danzo's order, held a ninja sword, and killed the Nawaki. Sheng Shu looked solemn, although he took the medicine Rixiangchen gave him. He is now a shadow level powerhouse, but Sheng Shu did not dare to be careless. To Dun to Liu De, a group of ninjas at the root jumped up, avoiding the flowing mudslides under their feet. Nawaki looked at the group of ninjas in the air, with a smile on his face, and his hands tied together and said softly, Water escape, great waterfall technique. In the land of no water, a large amount of water is produced, and then a huge wave like a waterfall is formed, and it rushes towards the route ninja whose body is in the air. Because in the air, Many people with poor strength could not avoid it and were hit by the huge wave, and the strong impact directly crushed their bones. Danzo's expression was ugly. I didn't expect Nawaki to be so strong. In a land without water, such a powerful water escape could be used. Without a large amount of chakra, it was absolutely impossible. Earth escape, split earth and turn palms. The Nawaki slammed the ground, and the ground cracked countless holes, 
spreading towards Danzo in the distance. Danzo jumped to avoid Nawaki's attack, and frowned, feeling that Nawaki was a little difficult to deal with. Go to hell. At this time, grabbing the gap between the Nawaki just using the ninjutsu, a route elite Junin suddenly appeared behind the Nawaki and slashed at the Nawaki's neck. The timing of this elite Jonin's appearance was very good, and the Nawaki was at a critical moment before he could react and avoid this deadly knife. Then, a high-speed rotating chakra ball appeared in the hands of the angry and fearful Nawaki. The high-speed rotating spiral pill hit the ninja's chest, and the powerful power of the spiral pill directly penetrated his chest. Seeing this guy die, Sheng Shi breathed a sigh of relief, and then became vigilant. It was indeed his carelessness just now. Otherwise he would definitely find the sneak attacking Elite Junin. And the Elite Junin also died very wrongly. Originally, he fought with Sheng Shu head on. He could fight with Sheng Shu a few times. Ninja battles are all for a moment, as long as you show your flaws, then you are not far from death. This guy was seized by Nawaki and killed by a spiral pill. And Zhang looked embarrassed. In which village the Elite Junin is placed, they are all at the top of the battle. There are not many Elite Junin in the village, and there are even fewer Elite Junin at the root each of which is a very valuable human resource. Dot. Now that one was easily killed by Nawaki, and Zhang's face was dark, looking at Nawaki's eyes full of killing intent, wishing to swallow Nawaki alive and peel it off. Chapter 217 Nawaki vs Root Thousand Hand Nawaki You are killing Konoa ninjas, the crime is unforgivable, let the old man take you down in person. And Zhang said in a deep voice, take me down, you can give it to try. Sheng Shi looked at Danzo coldly. Then he came to Dan Zhang's back in an instant his palm like a knife, and hit An Zhang's head. Danzo quickly turned around, used his bandaged right hand to block Nawaki's attack, and took a few steps back. His original right arm had been cut off by Rixi Angjin, and the current right arm was made by Okai Maru with the first generation of Hokage cells. Relying on the cells of the first Hokage, Danzo can even use the word escape, but Danzo doesn't want to use the word escape in Konoa, otherwise the Nawaki will definitely suffer a loss if he rushes up so rashly. The knife didn't hit and Nawaki didn't get discouraged. Using his right leg as a fulcrum, a roundabout kick hit to Anzang's forehead. Humphrey to Anzang snorted coldly, blocked Trusky's heavy kick with his arm, and then began to fight back. The fist was as fast as lightning, and it went straight to the face of the Nawaki. When it was about to reach the door of the Nawaki, suddenly stretched out and pierced the Nawaki's eyes. The move was extremely fierce. Nawaki dodged the fierce attack with a cold sweat on his head, quickly took a few steps back, and watched the sinister Danza vigilantly. Although Russia has shadow level strength, his combat experience is absolutely incomparable to the old and spicy Danzo. Although this guy Danzo is not a good thing, his strength is indeed very good, especially Danzo who is in his prime. Seeing Nawaki retreating, Danzo did not chase after him. At this time, his arms were shaking, and it was not so easy to take Nawaki's powerful kick just now. Sheng Shu took the fairy body medicine, and after obtaining the perfect fairy body, his strength increased a lot, and Tuan Zhang was absolutely incomparable to Sheng Shu in terms of strength. Sheng Shu looked at the group of people surrounding him, and frowned. If it was just An Zhang alone, Sheng Shu would have the confidence to defeat him, but An Zhang was not alone, he still had a group of subordinates. The route ninjas next to them are not just watching and playing, there are also a few masters among them. The most important thing is that his release of ninjutsu is not small, even if it is remote here, it may alarm other people in Konoa. Glancing at Tuan Zhang hatefully, Nawaki prepared to retreat first, and then find the old dog Tuan Zhang to settle accounts. Realizing that Nawaki wanted to escape, Danzo gave a cold smile. Ninja 4 Purple Flame Formation The four root ninjas are separated in four directions, east, west, northwest, and then make seals at the same time. The wall of flames locks the Nawaki in the enchantment. Nawaki's face was a little ugly, and he immediately used ninjutsu to continuously bombard the barrier, but he still couldn't break the barrier. Your choice to break into the root organization is your biggest mistake. And Zhang said with a sneer. Humphrey, water escape. Water breaks waves. A rapid ultra-high pressure water column spurted out of the mouth of the Nawaki, cutting the four purple flame formation apart like a sharp blade, and then quickly escaped from the barrier. The Nawaki, who left the barrier, finally breathed a sigh of relief. What? You can actually use the ninjutsu of the second Hokage. Danzo was a little surprised. Nawaki gave Danzang a deep look and was about to leave. He didn't want to fight with Danzang, but at this moment, he suddenly felt that his actions were out of control. Good job, Danzang praised. The wind in the mountains? People from the mountain family. Sheng Shu instantly thought of the secret techniques of the mountain family, and controlled the enemy's actions with powerful mental power. Phosphorus worms. Yamashita's partner, oil girl Togan's hands were covered with nanoscale poisonous insects, and grabbed them towards the Nawaki. Nawaki's body was tense, and he felt a crisis approaching. He tried his best to break free from the shackles of the mountain wind, and then avoided the palm of the oil girl. To Dun Tu Long Spear. A sharp rock rose from the ground, blocking the footsteps of the root ninja 
and then the Nawaki headed towards the distance without looking back. You can't run away, psychic, dream taper. Danzo channeled his psychic beast, and the huge suction came from the open mouth of the dream taper. The Nawaki, which was originally jumping in the air, felt the sudden strong suction, and suddenly felt bad, because Nawaki was unprepared, and his body was in midair unable to use strength. Nawaki was a little sad. Fortunately, the Nawaki adapts to the situation, and uses all the strength to suddenly fall and land on the ground. Then the chakra gathered on his feet, sticking to the ground, and competing with a dream taper. Damn, Huo Dun, how fireball technique. Nawaki, who couldn't hold on, immediately released a Huo Dun. The original fireball released by the Nawaki was not large, but under the wind of the dream taper, the original fire was not a big fireball, and it suddenly expanded tenfold. The nightmare taper screamed and returned to the spirit world. And Zhang's face was as black as ink, and he cursed inwardly. Nawaki was stunned for a moment. I didn't expect this big guy to be so easy to solve. Danzo, what's going on? At this moment, Hyaruzen Sarutobi came in a battle suit and brought Anbu's ninjas, and immediately asked Danzo. Danzo glanced at him. Isn't it obvious what's going on? Still need to ask him. Thousands of hands Nawaki attacked Konoha. Sarutobi, you can do it. Danzo said lightly. What? Sarutobi hasn't suspected that his ears had misheard. Sanju Roshu attacked Konoha. Isn't the thousand hand Nawaki dead? Three generations of Hokage. It's been a long time. Sheng Shu said in a flat tone. You, are you Roshu? Looking at Roshu's face, Hyaruzen Sarutobi frowned. He recognized Roshu at a glance as the one who came to Konoha with Haik Xiangjin. But is he Roshu? That's right. I want to know about the Kainzu clan at the beginning. Can the three generations of Hokage tell me in detail? Sheng Shu asked in a low voice. This time he came to Konoha with Rick Xianchen, except to meet his former friends, the rest was to settle with the past. Even though it had been four or five years, Sheng Shu couldn't forget the despairing faces of the Kainzu clan who died in front of him, and the short blade that pierced his chest. In the days when he came to Konoha, he had been stabilizing the skyrocketing strength, and now that he had completely controlled the skyrocketing strength, Nawaki couldn't hold back any longer. So last night, on impulse, Nawaki entered the root tissue that was found only a few days ago, and sneaked in to find Anzang to settle accounts. As a result, I lost 0.7 in the underground base like a labyrinth, and the angry Nawaki wanted to vent, but was found by the root, and the current situation happened. Nawaki, everything has passed, I am very happy that you are alive, I, enough, do you still think I'm a former child? Sheng Shu showed anger on his face. Although Sheng Shu did not deliberately ask Hai Xiangchen, but from the words of Hai Xiangchen at the beginning, Sheng Shu also learned that the destruction of their Sanju family was also related to Sarutobi Hazun. Don't talk nonsense with him. Nearly a hundred of my root ninjas died in his hands. Take him down first. Danzo shouted, and then killed the Nawaki. Hyaruzen Sarutobi frowned, his face full of sadness. He didn't know whether to stop Danzo now, or to capture the Nawaki. Sarutobi Hazun didn't speak, and the Anbu he brought naturally wouldn't act either. Therefore, it is still the root organization of the Nawaki duel. Chapter 218 Controlling the Nawaki to play group possession. Rick Xiangchen was sitting on a big tree not far away, watching the fight below, holding a quick melon in his hand. The real melon eater was him. TSK TSK, this guy Roshu is not good. After taking the medicine of the immortal body, he still can't take down the old guy Danzo. Rick Xiangchen shook his head and said, sitting in the ninja shop, Rick Xiangchen heard the movement, so Rick Xiangchen, who was so lively, naturally wanted to come over to have a look. Unexpectedly, after arriving, what I saw was the fight between the Nawaki and the Root Organization. So Rick Xianchen immediately prepared snacks and jumped to the tree to watch. If Sheng Shu knew that Rick Xianchen was watching a play here, he would have to vomit blood in depression. Rick Xianchen shook his head. Nawaki's combat experience is indeed not very good, and he will not take advantage of his own advantages. Forget it, let me help you. Rick Xianchen threw away the melon rind in his hand and clapped his hands. Rick Xianchen's tensei eye fluctuated slightly and then Nawaki felt that his body was out of control. His mind is still his, but his body is not under his control. It was the same as when Yamaza Kaku used the ninjutsu and mind-disturbing technique before, but this time he couldn't break free. Now the Nawaki panicked, could it be twelve to be so cold? Seeing the kunai who was stabbed by Danzo, Sheng Shu felt a little despair in his heart. However, when Danzo stabbed, Nawaki's body moved, and his right leg kicked towards him at a faster speed than Danzo. Danzo couldn't react at all. He was kicked in the chest and Danzo flew out like a cannonball. Danzo, who was smashed to the ground in the distance, spit out a mouthful of old blood. Nawaki, who was just on par with him, suddenly increased his speed and strength several times. What's going on? For a while, Danzo left the pain behind. The other members of the Root organization were also startled, and then charged towards the Nawaki expressionlessly. A wicked smile suddenly appeared on Sheng Shu's face, and then he made a seal with his hands, and said coldly, the technique of multiple shadows. In an instant, countless Nawakis filled the sky. To be honest, 
The people present couldn't even count how many Nawakis there were. The initial estimate was more than a thousand. So many shadow clones shocked the three generations of Hokage Sarutobi Hibiki. How many chakras does it take to separate so many shadow clones? Countless shadow clones were killed together towards the ninja of the root organization. Although each shadow clone was not strong, almost all disappeared when touched, but there were too many. Dozens of shadow clones jointly attacked a person, and many ninjas from the root organization were killed by shadow clones before they could react. Sarutobi Hizan's face sank. Although these were all members of Danzo, they were also members of Konoa. He couldn't let Roshu kill like this. In fact, Sheng Shu was completely stunned. Now it's not that he is manipulating his body at all. He doesn't even know that he can still be so awesome. What is going on here? Sheng Shu's mind was dazed, and suddenly he had a flash of light. And he thought of a person, that is Rick Xiangjin. Among Konoa, he doesn't have many friends, and the trio of pigs and butterflies in Ueno Sensei must not have the strength to help him. Only Hai Xiangchen can help him. Guessing that Rick Xiangchen was manipulating his body, Nawaki also let go of the heart that he had been mentioning. Anyway, Rick Xiangchen would not hurt him. However, this kind of uncontrolled situation still makes Sheng Shu feel very uncomfortable. If he can, he definitely doesn't want to experience it. Nawaki, stop me quickly. Sarutobi hidden psyched out the ape demon, and then turned the ape demon into a King Kong Rui stick. The elongated King Kong Rui rod swept across, and a large area of shadow clones all turned into smoke and disappeared. Although so many shadow clones look scary, they are actually very fragile. Seeing Hyrus and Sarutobi's attack, Anbu, who was brought by Hyrus and Sarutobi, also attacked those shadow clones, and soon many shadow clones were easily cleaned up. Nawaki, stop now. Sarutobi has and shouted loudly. Sarutobi, you can't let him go. Danzo grabbed his chest and got up. Sarutobi his and glanced at Danzo, then did not speak. Haik Siangchen is still in Konoa. Is there any way he can get the Nawaki? A bad one may provoke Rick Siangchen. This is also where Sarutobi his and felt embarrassed. Danzo glanced at Sarutobi his and angrily. The two of them knew each other very well. From the look on Sarutobi Hizan's expression, Danzo knew that he would not do anything to Nawaki. Sarutobi Hizan may have his considerations, but the loss is his Danzo, not to mention the kick he was kicked. Just say that he organized the dead people, and Danzo can't just forget about it. The unwilling Danzo shot directly, and Sarutobi Hizan didn't stop him. He could only tremble with anger. He didn't expect Danzo to be so impulsive and didn't think about the overall situation at all. Looking at Danzo rushing up, Haik Siangchen who was eating melons on a tree not far away, smiled, then manipulated the body of the Nawaki and kicked Danzo into the air with one kick. Then the fists poured down like raindrops on Danzo's body, and even Hyrus and Sarutobi couldn't stand it anymore. And the people in the root organization watched their leader be beaten, and there was nothing they could do. Who made them too weak, they couldn't help at all. Sarutobi has unhurriedly shot, if he continued to let Nawaki go down, the possibility of Danzo being beaten to death was very high. Hyrus and Sarutobi jumped up, blocked Roshu's attack and saved Danzo, but Hyrus and Sarutobi himself was punched several times, and the punch marks on his face were clearly there. At this time, the anger in Hyrus and Sarutobi's heart also boiled, and he was punched several times in the face. Doesn't he want 220 face? Thousand hand Nawaki, don't go too far. Water escape water dragon bite. Before Sarutobi Hizan had finished speaking, he and Danzo were hit into the sky by the current, and then countless rising currents rushed towards the two of them in the sky. Sarutobi Hizan knew something was wrong and hurriedly waved the Vajra Rui stick to resist the water flow that could penetrate the rock. At this moment, the rising water condensed into a water dragon, and then bit Sarutobi Hizan and Shimura Danzo, and then fell from the sky like a shooting star. Sarutobi Hizan looked desperate, if it hit the ground, it would definitely be dead. Tuan's Ang gritted his teeth and used the psychic technique to summon the Nightmare Taper who had returned to the psychic world again to defend them from the attack. At the juncture of life and death, Danzo couldn't care about his psychic beast, not to mention the psychic beast in Danzo's eyes just a tool, and now is the time to come in handy. Although there are nightmare tapers that can resist the impact, but as an S-level water escape, the power of the water dragon's bite is naturally terrifying. The nightmare taper, who was channeled out by Danzo to resist the attack, turned into minced meat under the explosion of a water dragon. His and Sarutobi and Danzo were not good either. They all fell to the ground with serious injuries, and their bodies were covered with scars and blood. Sarutobi Hizan and Danzo, two shadow level masters, were severely injured by an S level water escape and lost their combat effectiveness. Chapter 219 Okaimaru is here. Sheng Shi looked at this ninjutsu that created a pit of hundreds of meters, and was extremely horrified. He also understood the ninjutsu that Rick Xiangchen manipulated him to release. This is the profound truth of water escape created by his second grandfather. But no one has been able to use it again except his second grandfather Kai Ainzu Tobirama. At this time, Nawaki suddenly felt that the control of his body was back. And he moved his hands and feet, and Nawaki felt extra comfortable. 
Looking at Saruto Bihazan and Danzo lying in the deep pit, Sheng Shu felt complicated. Although he could take their lives at any time now and avenge their Kainzu clan, Sheng Shu did not happy because they were not completely defeated by their own strength, making Sheng Shu feel uncomfortable. To describe Nawaki in one sentence, it is sluts are hypocritical. But being hypocritical is hypocritical. This does not mean that Nawaki will let the two of them go. Saruto Bihazan and Danzo had no ability to resist at this time, they could only cover their wounds and watch Nawaki approaching them step by step with pain on their faces. Listening to the footsteps of the Nawaki, Saruto Bihazan and Danzo could both feel the day of death was slowly approaching. Protect the three generations of Hokage-sama, Danzo-sama, Anbu and Jenbu, who have almost always served as the background board, shouted. Looking at the Anbu and Jenbu personnel who rushed up, Sheng Shu's hands were flying up and down, and anyone who blocked him was beheaded by Sheng Shu mercilessly. However, the elite Jianan from Anbu and Jenbu still dragged Roshu's footsteps. Saruto Bihazan looked at the scene and smiled bitterly, although it seemed that the Nawaki seemed to be weaker than before. But these Anbu ninjas he brought, as well as Danzo's root ninja, can stop the Nawaki? Maybe this is retribution. Lord Danzo, hurry up and leave, we can't stop it. Shan Zongfeng shouted loudly. Danzo's face was expressionless, if he could leave. He would have left by now. Just when Anbu and Root couldn't hold on, several large snakes suddenly appeared and bit the Nawaki. Nawaki avoided these big snakes, and then frowned at the pale-skinned man opposite. Teacher Okaimaru, huh? Are you Nawaki? Okaimaru asked uncertainly. I didn't expect Teacher Okaimaru to remember me, Sheng Shu said lightly. Seeing that the Nawaki was not dead, Okaimaru was very surprised, but when he thought about the relationship between Haixianchen and Tsunade, he was not surprised. Glancing at the Nawaki, Okaimaru looked at Sarutobi Hizen and Shimura Danzo lying in the pit. Teacher Sarutobi, you are really embarrassed. Sarutobi Hizen shook his head with a wry smile, and then reminded, Be careful of the Senju Nawaki. He is very strong. Just now, although there was an element of Sarutobi Hizen's carelessness, he was hit by a water dragon. But even if he was vigilant, he couldn't completely escape, because the ninjutsu was released too quickly, and he couldn't react in time. Really? Then let me, the teacher. Come and test your strength of Nawaki. Okaimaru's eyes shone brightly. Sheng Shu looked at Okaimaru and had no intention of fighting any more. It wasn't that he was worried about the relationship between master and apprentice, but that he was currently consuming a lot of money, and there was not much chakra left. Next time, I will definitely take your lives and seek justice for my Kaienzu clan. Sheng Shu said coldly, then took out the forehead that had been preserved for a long time before, put it on again, and left it on it. A scratch. This scratch means that the Nawaki and Kono are completely cut off and they will be enemies in the future. Don't leave in a hurry, teacher, I haven't tested your strength yet. Okaimaru said. The array of 10,000 snakes. Countless snakes were channeled by Okaimaru. If people with intensive phobia saw it, they would probably be scared to death by this picture. Sheng Shu, who was about to leave, frowned. If it was before, he might not have attacked the teacher, Okaimaru, but now he is different. He has become a rebel against Konoa. Even Konoa, who used to want to protect, doesn't care let alone Okaimaru, a teacher who hasn't been for a long time, facing the group of snakes that were entangled in bites and wanted to engulf him. Nawaki jumped up and used the technique of the fireball. Although Roshu is not proficient in fire escape, but the huge chakra is destined for his extraordinary power of ninjutsu. After spending chakra, a large fireball of 10 meters was spewed out of his mouth, and countless large snakes turned into coke, but in the face of the large snakes one after another, Sheng Shu's fireballs were not enough. Especially the big snake that Okaimaru keeps channeling out. One is more than 10 meters long, and it is more than 20 meters long. Although its size is not comparable to 10,000 snakes, it is quite scary. In the face of these big snakes, Nawaki can only use ninjutsu to kill them. In just a few minutes, Nawaki did not know how many snakes he killed, but not only did not see the number of big snakes around him decrease, but there were more and more big snakes. There is nothing good about the tree either. Although Sheng Shu is very strong, he doesn't have that kind of super wide range of ninjutsu, although water dragon bite is also a wide range of ninjutsu, Sheng Shu can't use it by himself. Before that, it was used by Rixi Yangchen to control the Nawaki. Looking at the endless Okaimaru, Sheng Shu simply abandoned these serpents and attacked Okaimaru who summoned the serpent. One spiral pill in one hand, flexibly avoid the attack of the big snake, and then the spiral pill in his hand hit the big snake pill. The Okaimaru that was hit suddenly turned into mud, and Sheng Shu was shocked and then used the instant body technique to leave the place. As soon as Nawaki left, an earth-shattering explosion came out. Okaimaru had already set up a detonating talisman trap in the ground just now. If Nawaki was slower, it would definitely be seriously injured. In terms of speed and chakra, I'm not as good as you, but what you need in battle is wisdom. Okaimaru's hoarse voice came from behind the Nawaki, and the Kizanagi sword in his hand pierced the Nawaki's chest. However, Okaimaru deliberately deviates from the vital heart of Nawaki, 
Otherwise Nawaki will be GG. It's not that Hokaimaru wants to be merciful, but he doesn't dare to kill Shang Shu. Otherwise he is afraid that he will kill Shang Shu on the front foot, and Rick Xiangchen will kill him on the back foot. Shang Shu Kun, you still need to hone. Okaimaru pulled out the Kizanagi sword and said lightly. Nawaki hurriedly retreated while covering the wound, and looked at Okaimaru with solemn eyes. This time, Okaimaru taught him a lesson, and also made him quiet because of his strength. Shang Shu looked at Okaimaru vigilantly and began to retreat. Although Okaimaru's strength was similar to Danzo's, the danger was definitely greater than Danzo. After exiting for hundreds of meters, seeing that Okaimaru did not make a move, Shang Shu immediately left and several jumping figures disappeared in front of everyone. Okaimaru, you actually let this betrayal run away. Danzo said angrily. Okaimaru glanced at Danzo lightly, and then said, Don't forget that Sun Xianchen is still among the leaves. Chapter 220 The Nawaki Leaves Konoa Danzo looked at Okaimaru. Although he was angry, it was not easy to attack. After all, he and Okaimaru were still in a cooperative relationship and he still had to use Okaimaru. Konoa ran in and betrayed Haik Xiangchen. You didn't even investigate the identity of the Thousand Han Nawaki who entered Konoa with Haik Xiangchen. How did you act like a hokage? Danzo, who had nowhere to get angry, saw the silent Sarutobi Hughes on, and then vented all the anger in his heart on Sarutobi Hizan's head. I'm hokage, I don't need your accusation yet. Sarutobi Hizan stood up and said coldly, You, you? To Anzang Kai's eyes dimmed. Finally, the angry Danzo left angrily with a ninja at the root. Hey, Sarutobi Hizan was a little worried. The house leak happened to rain overnight. Konoa lost Hatek Sakumo, and another thousand hand Nawaki that should have died, and then completely turned against Konoa. The key is the strength of Sanju Roshu. Although Sarutobi Hizan is not sure why Sanju Roshu was able to hang him and Danzo before, and was injured by Okaimaru, the strength of Sanju Roshu is really not weak. Absolute shadow level powerhouse. S level betrayal. Thinking of this, Hayaru's and Sarutobi had a headache. Okaimaru, you go and let Jiria come back, said Sarutobi Hizan, who had a headache. Okaimaru nodded and said, I'm only responsible for delivering the 220 news to him. As for whether he will come back or not, it's up to him. Ah, it hurts. Nawaki shouted miserably in Haik Xianchen's ninja shop. It hurts when it hurts. What are you calling me in my shop? Get out of here and affect my business. Rick Xianchen looked at Nawaki, who was screaming in pain while applying medicine. I've been hurt like this. You're still so vicious, can't you say something nice? Ha ha Tilda who made you strong? Would you still be injured if you were strong? Rick Xianchen said with contempt. It doesn't hurt to stand and talk, I'm facing Okaimaru, which is one of the three tolerances. Sheng Shu finished the medicine, wrapped the gauze, and stood up and said, Okay, don't talk about it, you have a perfect immortal body, and you can't even settle for Okaimaru. You are also living in vain. Rick Xianchen stretched out his hand to shut him up. Nawaki looked aggrieved, can you blame him? He has been a farmer all these years, and he has never played against others at all, so he has no combat experience. Hurry up and put away your disgusting expression, be careful I'll slap you. Rick Xianchen said expressionlessly. His slap was already raised. Sheng Shu was frightened and quickly put away the grievances on his face. He had no doubt that Rick Xianchen would slap him down. You controlled me before? Nonsense. Otherwise you can be the opponent of Danzo and Sandai and the two of them can rub you against the ground. Rick Xianchen leaned on the chair and said with a sip of water, Why did I become so much stronger when you controlled me? Could it be that you blessed me? Nawaki asked curiously. Rick Xianchen glanced at Sheng Shu and said indifferently, Blessing a fart, it's just a skill. With the same power, I can easily play a dozen times or even dozens of times more than you. Oh, Sheng Shu nodded, indicating that he understood, but he didn't know if he really understood, or if he didn't pretend to understand. I'm going to leave Konoa, how about you? Nawaki asked. Leave as soon as you leave. Of course I'm staying here, and my little apprentice needs to be taught here. I won't be so irresponsible. The key is that I have nowhere to go without Konoa. Rick Xianchen spread his hands road. Then I'm going to call Weino Sensei, and Luju, Hei, Ding Zhuo and the others to come out and get together. After all, they are leaving, so I have to say goodbye to them. Sheng Shu and Rick Xianchen said, and then left the ninja shop. Dot. Walking on the street, Nawaki, the betrayal, walked with a guilty conscience and it felt as if someone was staring at him everywhere. However, he obviously thought too much. Haixi Anchen was in Kono a village, so Sarutobi Hizan wouldn't bother looking for Nawaki, not to mention that Sarutobi Hizan is still seriously injured now. Soon Nawaki took Ueno Sensei and the others back to Haixi Anchen's ninja shop again. This time they didn't go out, but prepared to eat barbecue in Rick Xianchen's shop with Kudao Ding Zuo, a big foodie. There is no need for Rick Xianchen and the others to do it. Kudao Ding Zuo quickly prepared everything and foodies are basically equal to chefs. Tell everyone the good news, I'm now a rebel. Nawaki said loudly. Yamanaka Kai, who was drinking water, sprayed Nara Shukahiza's face one by one, 
and Naroshikahiza wiped his face depressed. No, what did you just say Nozu, is there something wrong with my ears? Yamuna Kakai gave Naroshikaku an apologetic smile, then looked at Nozu. You heard that right, for some reason, I'm already betrayal now. Sheng Shu smiled. This time everyone was silent, they didn't know what happened, and let the Nawaki, who had dreamed of becoming Hokage, become a rebel. Sheng Shu, you stinky brat. You have actually become a traitor? There are actually four traitors in a class of students I teach. What does this make others think of me? Wei no Shiri looked depressed. Haixi Angjin, you Zumaki Kashina, you Ikai Hamikoto, and now with the addition of a thousand hand Nawaki, this is four rebellions at once. Wei no Shiri is very speechless. Is he not able to teach students? I'm sorry Wei no Sensei. Nawaki looked at Wei no Shiri apologetically. Forget it. You each have your own choices. Wei no Shiri shook his head not having any prejudice against him because of Rope's betrayal of the village, and still regarded him as a former student. Isn't it cool to be a rebel? If I didn't have a family, I would like to be a rebel like you, Yamanaka Kaiji said. Wayno Shiri's face was dark, and he slapped Kaiji Yamanaka on the head. Yamanaka Kaiji covered his head with a depressed look on his face. He was just talking, but he was actually beaten. Deserved, Ruxianchen said gloatingly. No nonsense, we won't be drunk tonight, but unfortunately we didn't see Minato and we don't know what mission he was performing. It took so long, Sheng Shu said with a glass of wine. Okay, if you don't get drunk, you won't go home. It wasn't until the early hours of the night, when everyone except Rick Xianchen drank and lay down, it stopped completely. Rick Xianchen looked at the guy who was lying on the tatami after being drunk, and shook his head for a while, especially when he saw Ku Dao Ding Zhu hugging the feet of Yamuna Kahei and shouting big chicken legs. Rick Xianchen wanted to laugh. Voice. The night passed quickly, and the next morning, because of the perfect fairy body, Nawaki, who was the first to wake up, glanced at the sleeping person and walked out. After walking around outside, he didn't see Rick Xiangchen. Sheng Shu shook his head helplessly, originally wanted to say goodbye to Rick Xiangchen, but now he can't find anyone. Nawaki took out a pen and paper and wrote a note, then left Konoa. By the time Naroshikohiza and the others woke up, Nozu had already left for a long time. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.